The Coffee Industry Corporation has reached yet another significant milestone in its operation in PNG, the opening of the Lay Coffee Export Building. My, my privilege with uh, Leono Barroso, uh, in, as, as we said, one of the main focus in 2019 when we took office was to empower company in its northern spaces. One of which was to make sure company contractors get contracts where they can get. And we made deliberate policy intervention that at 10 million kina and below, if contractors are available in our country, no overseas contractor will get those contracts. In between 10 to 30 million, first preference to PNG contractors. If they are in a JV, then it must be a JV with overseas. No overseas contractor will bid on a standalone. And of course, about 30 million kina is open bid. So it just totally pleases me to see a company and contractors, many things we cannot do it. To all companies out there, get your hands dirty to do something. Look at opportunity, look at this ribbon. Office block coffee, you mean company again. Thank you. Prime Minister James Marpe is grateful for the strategic leadership by CIC to build a state of the art facility at a cost of 10.6 million kina. I'm here and I'm happy <coughs> to witness CIC, Mr. Duncan, and Tim Law here. This layer, I'm all before line also give him contract here, also give him long 100 million to make him kind house. Uh, Mr. Thank you. Little money come here. Me come to you because number one, me like to thank you for strategic leadership on CIC. Little money, but big law work come up. Pity man, but it's black. The reason why Papini no move here for the last 48, 49 years, you missed up. Waiting big law money now. Money you be wasting, may not make him work. Mr. Thank you for CIC. Little money, big law work. This is 10 million. Some people also talk about 100 million or make his land house. The construction of this export office kicked off in February of 2021. The project was awarded to Haom Builders under contract number 3766 and an easy decision number 86 on 2020. Despite the setbacks by COVID-19 pandemic, the project is now complete and ready for operation. According to the Chief Executive Officer of CIC, Charles Dambui, this building is designed to serve critical functions that will significantly enhance their operational efficiency and export capabilities. He added that the building is also designed to meet specification that facilitates for international best practices and reputable process at the export end of the coffee market chain. So, like we said, we have the conventional market, we have also the specialty market in which... The building complex will be used to assess quality and process export documentations, collect levies and facilitate export of all types of green bean coffee ready for export to various markets. Deputy Prime Minister and member for Lay, John Rosso, says the building is at a strategic location that will serve the coffee producing provinces. This is Lay, this is the place to get a man. Lay is the name of the country, the Bell Rock, the Lewa Block. It is an industrial hub and the hub of exports and imports for the whole of Papua New Guinea. So, Mipla talk thank you. Mipla Olim Disla is in custody. Blah you plow ogre the highlands you plaxi kubi kam salim lo here and blazing now. Nem mouse road lo ogre san and bell blow ogre san ni kam and bakam lo lay here. Rest in peace to come, me plasalim to go on top of them. Ogre imports extra cartu, ogre san ni go one time copy, tea, caca, ogre san ni kam lo here lo lay na me plas export him to so. Me to thank you lo you plow ogre the governor kam sin down lo here today because lo you plow ogre the two now na lay one me sin down lo them. Nem mouse na no space lo power ni gini. This la office lo you me now stands as a testament. Stands as a testament of the government's focus, Lomipla working importance, the commodity crops like coffee, cocoa, and all the agriculture exports. Minister for Coffee, William Bando, in his address at the occasion, says the opening of the export office marks a significant step in PNG's coffee industry, highlighting the Maraperoso government's commitment to the agriculture sector. Today we celebrate a re remarkable milestone in the journey of Papua New Guinea's coffee industry. 
It is with immense pride and profound gratitude that I stand before you on this momentous occasion. The grand opening of the Papua New Guinea uh, Coffee Industry Corporation's Lay Export Terminal, Coffee Export Terminal. The event not only marks a significant step in the evolution of our coffee sector, but also highlights the unwavering commitment of the Marabe Rosso government. Both of them are here today for the agricultural sector. This stage of, uh, this will transform the coffee industry. Prime Minister Marabe called on CIC to deliver four key priority areas under the newly opened office. So number four point for me, we like this office in all. Now, coffee blimey, me, label him good, and got organic touch. Our coffee label must have its own label to export to the world out there with, our, with, with the niche market that one would prefer to get PNG coffee. Am I right? Huh? So we repeat in popular point, make the freight support work, make the uh, price support work, tidy the export so that those who are exporting, we know who are exporting, they bring the equivalent dollars back inside. And me like ask him, you put an organic label or our coffee must have its own label and identity and it goes to the market that, and it becomes a preferred coffee of choice in international markets. World will still be drinking coffee. We must make it work for our people. Only then will our people have money in their pockets. Am I right? Let's make sure coffee extension reaches them and they are growing. They get the right price. We pay them at where they are growing. We bring it in. We export out. We bring the dollars back into our country for kinder conversion. May God bless the focus on coffee. It is not just a feel good of ministry creation and focus, rather it embraces 70% of Papua New Guineans. We want to make coffee outreach better, grow our production past the 1 million threshold. I was told that PNG has potential to reach 3 million coffee bags at the earliest. We can, we can reach that potential. And I want to ask you all, sit in this office, focus very well, and let's make coffee truly come back finding its place as one of the anchors of our economy.